demonetization, a YouTuber's worst nightmare. Ever since I joined YouTube, this is all I've been hearing about. And there's been a lot of depressing videos around this. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get over that depression and also how to succeed on YouTube once you do that. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And yes, today we are going to be talking about YouTube demonetization as well as depression. And the first thing I have to make very clear, the examples I'm gonna give you, this is not to make fun, it is not to antagonize anybody that I use in the examples. In all honesty, I hope that they see this video so maybe they have an altered change of perception, but this is not some kind of malicious video. I wanna make that very clear. I wanna be able to provide YouTubers out there with help who are struggling with this depression around the demonetization. So let's get started. Whether you're a YouTuber or you're just somebody in the audience who loves watching YouTube, you've heard about demonetization. I won't get into all the details because there's a billion videos out there about it, but basically YouTube changed the way ads work and a lot of people are not making money off of these ads. All right, so the focus of this video is that we're going to be talking about locus of control again. If you have not watched my video about the psychology of Gary V, his quote, everything is my fault, you need to go check that out. It will be in the info card. So I will briefly recap locus of control. An internal locus of control is the mindset that we are in control of our own fate, our own destiny. We are in control. Someone with an external locus of control believes that everything else has the say in what their outcome is. As you saw in the thumbnail, I have two sets of examples. I have Sky Williams and Destry, and then I have Philip DeFranco and Casey Neistat. What I would say is Casey Neistat and Philip DeFranco have more of an internal locus of control, while Sky Williams and Destry have an external locus of control. The first video I saw was from Destry. My son loves watching him, my girlfriend knows about him, and I was introduced to him and I saw this video by him. Um, yeah, I'm pretty torn up about it though. I mean, I would really love to continue streaming and whatnot. It's just that the way that YouTube kind of is right now, I'm just not able to do it. And I hope you guys understand. Like no joke, like that bums me out. Like this dude is big on YouTube, like not as big as some, but he has over a million subscribers. And the way he's built that base is with one of his most successful series, the WTF News. Then Sky Williams recently came out with this video. <laughs> Their video is up, their ads are on. I don't want anything bad to happen to them, but these videos are all I have. This is, I don't have anything. And like, I get it, it sucks. Like, what I got from Sky Williams' video, like, I've, by the way, like, I've been fired from a million jobs, and that's almost what it feels like when some of these YouTubers are talking about this demonetization. This idea that these people wanted to become these YouTubers and make all this money and do this full time. And like, I'm here to let you know that you still can, it just takes an altered change of this locus of control. The reason why people like Sky Williams and Destry have been demonetized and they're taking the hit so hard is because they can't get into the same mindset as people like Philip DeFranco and Casey Neistat. Both of these groups are both getting hit by this demonetization, but how come Philip DeFranco and Casey Neistat are doing better? That's the question we have to ask. Now, for example, someone with an external locus of control, this is the way that you can check with yourself. When I said that, you're immediately thinking of all the circumstances that Philip DeFranco and Casey Neistat have that you don't have. That's what your mind focused on. That's how you know you have an external locus of control because you didn't think about the ways that you could get to that. The reason Casey Neistat and Philip DeFranco are succeeding even though there was the adpocalypse is because they haven't been tunnel visioned by an external locus of control. This is the problem with an external locus of control. It focuses your vision completely on the negative. There are resources, there are options everywhere else, but you can't stop focusing on that one thing. So people like Destry and Sky Williams, they are purely focusing on the fact that 
YouTube has demonetized them and their videos are getting hit and they're no longer making ad money. It's like trying to fight against the current when you're in a river. You just keep fighting it, fighting it, fighting it, instead of just going with the stream. An internal locus of control accepts that situation and then strategizes and figures something out. That's exactly what people like Philip DeFranco and Casey Neistat have done. And I'm also gonna mention Roberto Blake later on in this video. But Philip DeFranco is a prime example. When he got hit with the demonetization, he hit up Patreon. He started DeFranco Nation. There were a lot of people out there who were talking crap about Philip DeFranco for what he did, but he has an internal locus of control. He adapts to the situation. As soon as this income stream stopped coming in or was lessened by the adpocalypse, he immediately saw all of his other options. He's doing brand deals, he's doing sponsorships, he has uh, the Patreon account, he offers so many different services and that's what's keeping his business alive. And that's why it's thriving. If I go over and check Philip DeFranco's Patreon right now, while it doesn't say how much money he is making per month, since he has allocated his resources to Patreon, look at how many Patreon members he has, okay? And just put this in perspective. The lowest denomination on there is $5. For $5, you get some pretty cool stuff. Now, let's just imagine this real quick. For $5, and he has 14,769 Patreons. So, let's take that number. The lowest amount that he is making from Patreon is $73,000 per month. Well, almost $74,000. It comes out to $73,845. But you see what I'm saying. Now. When I put that in comparison with Destry, who has over a million subscribers, and then I compare it to Sky Williams, who is right at the cusp of hitting a million. Imagine that for a second. But instead, when you have people like Destry and Sky Williams, and again, this is not specifically about Destry and Sky Williams. They're just two creators who I love and I follow. So I'm using them as examples. But because of their external locus of control, they keep fighting that stream and fighting that stream and it is completely out of their control. As soon as they're able to adjust and pivot, they'll be able to create the content that they want and not have it hit their wallet. Once you're able to get out of that mindset, you're able to switch to this internal locus of control where you're regaining control of the situation and you can make whatever kind of content you want and the YouTube ad money is just a drop in the bucket. <clears throat> so just to recap that, when you have an external locus of control, you are focusing, you are hyper-focused on the negative, the things that you have absolutely no control over. With the internal locus of control, your brain is immediately thinking of all the alternatives and all the other options. You're more creative. Science has proven that those with an internal locus of control are more creative and they're more driven to work towards success because they don't see things as a dead end, they just see it as a fork in the road. That's the difference between these two mindsets. So start asking yourself, if you're a YouTuber out there, I don't care if you're small or big, or if you're just someone out there trying to start a business, like you have to adapt to survive. But the more you fight against that stream, the deeper that depression gets. Then the self-pity comes, then the negative thoughts and the negative talk, all those things. Now, personally, one of the reasons that I'm able to do YouTube is because I have a full-time job and I started this YouTube channel not for the money, but to increase awareness and help people who struggle with mental health issues or addiction. I'm just here to help people get out of any type of funk, whether it's depression or anxiety. But I joined Roberto Blake's Awesome Creator Academy to help me get my message out to more people. And what I love about the Awesome Creator Academy is because I am surrounded by people who have an internal locus of control. In our private Facebook group, like the last thing that we're talking about is YouTube ad money. Like what Roberto has said multiple times is that YouTube is a vehicle. Like the destination for all of us is success and happiness, right? And success is very subjective. So YouTube's just a vehicle to that. Don't 
put all of your focus on that like what do you want to achieve what's your end goal that's what we talk about in the awesome creator academy and that's why i love it we talk about solutions that's what i love like you hear me whenever i start a video let's talk about the problem but focus on the solution because focusing on the problem has never solved a single thing in anybody's life so let's look towards the solution if you're a creator out there if you're just any kind of creative like go ahead and click the link below check out the awesome creator academy join me and a bunch of other people who are finding different ways to get our voice heard and like it's a great group and we do monthly or even bi-monthly calls there's a facebook group and we're always chatting it up it's a bunch of like-minded people and it's completely amazing so if you want to check it out click the link below here's the question of the day here's the question of the day comment down below do you feel that you have an internal or an external locus of control. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I'm always doing videos about mental health, addiction, and anything that helps you with stuff going on up here. So hit that subscribe button right below this box. And also to the left of me, there are thumbnails that you can click or tap on and check out all the other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.